South Park is one of my favourite animated shows, and its style is arguably one of the most recognisable of any adult cartoon. Beyond the main cast, there are some characters only used a handful of times that bizarrely make a lasting impression. Towerly is one that springs to mind amongst many others, but for this video, I'm thinking even more obscure. Popular long-running TV shows typically have a one-off character that catches your attention to a point where you want to see them return. I'd argue this is a testament to how well-received a character is, especially if they are brought back by popular demand. I'd also argue that less is more, where open potential for a return is just as fun. I personally found this when viewing the South Park episode Toilet Paper from Season 7. When the four boys play a horrible prank on their art teacher Mrs. Striebel, covering her house in toilet paper, it's up to Officer Bar Brady to investigate. As the series continued, Officer Bar Brady was phased out, which I found to be a shame. He was a staple of the earlier seasons, but was later replaced by the South Park County Police Department. Despite how much I like Bar Brady, the police led under Sergeant Yates are far more believable, which is a benefit to serious storytelling. Visiting the crime scene, the toilet paper incident is considered to be reckless vandalism, but this begs the question, who could have done this and why? With Barb Brady needing the help of an expert, this is where we are introduced to the one-off character Josh Myers. Parodying one of my all-time favourite horror movies, Silence of the Lambs was a heavy influence on this episode. Josh and Officer Barb Brady share a similar relationship to Dr. Hannibal Lecter and Clarice Starling. You can see the clear visual homage to the look Anthony Hopkins brought to his portrayal of Lecter, right down to the hairstyle and blue jumpsuit. Serving his sentence at the Park County Juvenile Hall, we are introduced to Josh, which is very similar to Hannibal's introductory scene. Barb Brady finds the last prison cell on the left, and just like in the film, this cell is a completely different design. It is tailored for an inmate seemingly more dangerous. Perhaps it's a blessing that there's no South Park equivalent of multiple MIGs. Their conversation is similar to the source material, although I would argue some parts feel like a tribute to Red Dragon, where Josh makes comments on the cologne Bar Brady is wearing. That's a terrible cologne you're wearing, officer. You should try something more casual. That's the same atrocious aftershave you wore in court. I keep getting it for Christmas. Just like in the film, Josh makes several attempts to try and get inside Barb Brady's head, which unsurprisingly works. He offers to help, but only if Barb Brady answers some intimate questions, revealing some really bizarre details about his past. Some of which are so disturbing they even cause Josh to break character. Alright, alright, my dad dressed me up like a little girl on poker nights and made me sit on all my uncle's laps! <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, thank you. Josh is handed the case folder where he examines the crime scene photos. He's impressed with the toilet papering job, suggesting it was a group effort and at least one of the suspects is a professional. Bar Brady is given a lead where he is advised to find out where the large quantity of toilet paper was purchased. Taking this much toilet paper from home would be too obvious, so the boys would have needed to have purchased it themselves. When struggling to find more evidence, Bar Brady returns to Josh. This interaction is one of my favourites where Josh attempts to encourage the correct answers, advising that the suspects are likely students in the art teacher's class. Asking him to fly along now, yet another homage to Hannibal, he turns his back on Bar Brady only for the prison officer to ask if he was putting on the silly voice for the policeman. Josh, were you doing the silly voice for the policeman again? No, sir. I love this voice changing gag, making Josh feel more like your average kid. I like to think he watched Silence of the Lambs, connected with the character Anthony Hopkins played, knew he was going to Juvenile Hall, and decided to play as Hannibal Lecter for his own amusement. Officer Bar Brady pays a visit to South Park Elementary, where Josh reappears. He is wheeled into Principal Victoria's office with the supposed intent of revealing which students were behind the toilet paper incident. Of course, this scene replicates the lamb scene where Hannibal Lecter is restrained for his meeting with Senator Martin. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. He's very quick to psychoanalyze the principal, only to be shut down instantly. What's the matter, Principal Victoria? Was your mother abusive? Did she spank your thighs with cold cuts and stick umbrellas up your ass? 
Get him out of here! I love the attention to detail where a toilet roll can be seen to Josh's left. In this scene, you can see the toilet paper sitting on the cabinet in the background. When Policeman Brown is asked to escort Josh from the room, the toilet paper is gone. There is no explanation, which I feel only adds to the absurdity of this character and what he is capable of doing. When Bar Brady leaves the room, he finds Policeman Brown covered in toilet paper, which Josh somehow used to escape. Oh no! He, he was too fast for me. He ran out the door. Well, couldn't you have gone after him? Well, I I'm covered in toilet paper. I look silly. A short time later, Bar Brady is working at his desk, only to receive an anonymous phone call from Josh. Police station! Hello, Officer Bob Brady. Josh? Taking inspiration from the ending of Silence of the Lambs, their conversation is short, with a similar conclusion where Josh is enjoying his freedom. Revealing that he was only serving a three-week sentence, Bob Brady pleads with Josh to give up his location, of which he refuses. Apologising, he states there is something he has been meaning to do for a long time. Putting the phone down, he gathers up two bags of toilet paper as he ominously walks towards the White House with the obvious intentions. Sadly, this is the end for Josh Myers, but in a way, I am glad this is the last we see of him since this is one of my favourite cold endings. With it being so vague and mysterious, it allows the viewer to further speculate and imagine what could happen to this character going forward. Beyond this episode, Josh has sadly not been featured in any future stories, but has been referenced. Looking into this a bit further, he started to appear in the revamped opening credits from season 17. He is difficult to spot, but you can see him in the back of Officer Bar Brady's police car, wearing the Hannibal-inspired mask. In the Stick of Truth video game, a wanted poster for Josh can be briefly seen in the background of the South Park County Police Station. It describes him as a serial toilet paperist, that he is 10 years old, and the date he was last seen. This is a clever reference to the original air date of the toilet paper episode, which aired on April 2nd, 2003. Although there are only a couple, the Hannibal franchise has been referenced in other episodes of the show. In the season 6 episode, Bebe's Boobs Destroy Society, Cartman replicates the lotion scene from Silence of the Lambs, where he pretends to be Buffalo Bill. Now he places the lotion in the basket. Mister, please let me out of here! Let's say it again, louder. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. And in the season 8 episode, Cartman's Incredible Gift, this story makes reference to several films which includes a parody of Red Dragon. Cartman is restrained in this serial killer's basement where he is forced to look at a slideshow of photos. This replicates the scene where journalist Freddie Lowndes is captured by Frances Dollarhide, forced to look at murder victims whilst repeatedly asked the question, Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> do you see? Yes, yes, I see! Anyhow, that's going to do it for this analysis looking at the obscure character of Josh Myers from South Park. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a like down below. Let me know in the comments what other characters do you feel we should discuss and why. And for more content, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios. Are you threatening me?